enough time so that the fireman push doesn't come early to get enough well, items to deal with is it. Is there not some element on him? Then Wyvern goes back top. They're looking to kind of win as many lanes as possible here because of the Enigma jungle. Yeah, I, tough times here now, but they are getting the harassment out onto Crit. Frost is laying into a moon, gonna force him back, and then Misery Rise with the teleport and Secret again. They do get a first blood. Didn't win them the game last time, but they're looking for secondary kill Moon Low. Won't end up going down there. Actually, gonna summon a fresh set of Eidolons. Continues to move in. Fly gotta be careful though. Finally, I might be able to spring the trap. Puppy has the Malefist to get the follow-up stun. Fly hexed as well. A triple disable combo from Secret. Enough for the kill. She's in the Dire team who probably prioritizes Roshan and farming a bit more. And OG have adapted their, their playstyle and gone for that more kind of dire oriented strategy. They're going for the Banish here, mid lane. Spirit Siphon online, but Puppy rotates in, has the hole available, and lets it go into No-Tail. In a lot of danger, trying to heal him up, Fly, Cold embraces him, keeps him alive for a very long time. No-Tail still surviving. They continue to volley auto-attacks after him and eventually get the kill. A good effort by Fly, but simply not enough. He had five ones in a fairy fight. I think he saved him. But... Did get to buy his gloves, so yeah. no gold loss. I think there. he was buying items rather than thinking, oh, I can live, I'll use my one fairy fire. Oh, pretty bold TP by Moon. Not yet level 6, actually. He's very close to it, but they banish him, and they're gonna stun him up. Moon, counting on the level 6, he's not gonna get it. Oh, a really costly feed here for the Tidehunter. He doesn't have buyback either. He won't be able to participate. Misery turning for the cover. He snipes that as well. Catastrophe for OG in the mid lane. Hemorrhaging kills, giving up couriers. They're gonna lose fly as well. They might even lose no tail. The B train has no breaks. 6 to 0, a tower as well, a triple kill to all heroes, it's the OD. Attacked by Drew Ranger, it's not going to get a whole lot done. And Envy, nowhere to be found. It does set up a oh, finger, they just delete the okay. spark, okay. Well, well that series. And the good news is the suffering will be uh, relatively painless if things continue this way. It'll be over soon. Fly now. Getting found out by Misery. They do TP in, they get the Malefice off, and he tries to embrace himself but continues to get hammered down by Weeha. Orb after orb crashing in, still holding the Aegis for now. Crit gonna head to the south, no tell there to join him. Him and then your OD. Weeha, back for the Blink Dagger. More initiation, and they're gonna find Moon here, it looks like, over towards the Dire Ancients as they smoke. Initiating on the Tidehunter, going to work on him with the Orb. Moon, though, is gonna crack it off. He marches forward, he gets fingered, Prophet on as well. Getting volleyed down here by the Adonis, can they finish the job? The Prophet TP sprouts there, they get the kill. And with that goes the mech, no buyback. Available Miracle desperately leaping out, but Weeha's there with the Blink forward and the banner set up. They're gonna need some help, Crit. Just gonna channel the relocate and try to get Miracle out. He does it in time, right after the OD hammer gets dropped. A bit too late. Still no tie Hunter though. But they likely, at least decent chance, they are gonna lose Crit here. Yep. Let's see if he can tether his way out. Puppy, oh, does get the Malphys off. Highlight die though, no finger available, so Crit actually escapes and also saves his buddy. This okay. is going to salvage what's instant, but sometimes that's what it takes to get back in these games. Miracle's gonna lead the charge here. We'll see an alpha of scouting things out. They are in great position up on the high ground. Maybe they can find the jump. Miracle's gonna lead the way, but as he bounces forward, he catches up Puppy. Puppy gets banished. Weeha trying to salvage the fight. Moon silenced up. Looks like they should be able to bring down the Enigma here. They will burst him. He does have buyback available, so potentially looking to turn this. They might wait out for the exorcism. No tail. Low, but there's the cold embrace to keep him alive. The Wiz comes in. Crit also low. He'll end up going down. They've gotten two. Puppy still holding that buyback. Weeha in the midst of it all. Slamming the damage out onto Miracle, but Moon is gonna managed to keep things in fighting condition. Weeha will get finished off here. It looks like by the ghost. Still no buybacks coming out for Secret. They've lost three big heroes. It's up to Envy to salvage it. A three for three. But when you're playing from this far behind, if that's how it ends, I think you're pretty happy as OG. And, and they're two main cores surviving as well. And, and that was the perfect Ravage. The perfect win close to perfect Winter's Curse. It hit their time about this one. We'll see how long they need. Pylai die. He does have Hex ready to go. Can make a move. America is going to wait up the Dark Pact. And Miracle getting stunned from distance. There's the finger. Prophet old. I imagine bouncing through here. It is enough to secure the kill. Well executed gank by Secret. And now looking for Crit as well with the teleport in. Misery gets a double kill. He was very quiet last game. But this game having a big impact. OG though. They've got the Yule Scepter. No tail. Is going to debut it here. Looks like we'll get the Prophet right as he starts to really come into his own. So it ends up being a two for one, but with the death of the Slark, it'll be happy overall. And while that was happening, Secret also going to grab a Roche. I'm down more to the the, the Slark, and even Winter Wyvern, a pretty good hero to buy back on. You can't Splinter Blast, one of the best defending spells they have right now.
we'll see what they can put together here as far as defending goes. OG holding back, Moon's gonna just start it off right away, they saw the BKBs, they make the pounce, Envy wasn't ready for it, but he gets up the ghost, one more auto tech Miracle's desperately chasing after, but Poppy looking to turn it, they do match even under up the black hole there with a nice winner's curse, but the rest of the BKBs are coming out, Miracle trapped right now in the trees, gonna get the job done. BKB is starting to wear up, but they've killed off the IO. They've managed to grab three. OG went all in on aggression there. And I'm not sure it was quite enough. A three hero takedown. It's going to be a 4v2 power play. The Wyvern will buy back, but it's not much of a hero without his ultimate fly. Throwing up the Splinter Blast, trying to chunk down Weehaw. But remember, he still holds the Aegis. This is going to wear off fairly soon. The timing could work out poorly for him, potentially. So they force out the Wyvern buy back. All of Secret's... Big cooldown's expended in that one. It's not like it's the, the Slark who dies and buys back. Slark gets an ultimate orb, and he's the one who got the kill on the Drow range of that fight. He got a thousand gold for the kill on Envy's Drow. He's suddenly already approaching his next big item. I believe he may have even got solo kill XP, because he's level 16 right now. He's the highest level in this game, and something that Secret have to be very wary of. Wyvern all on cooldown for 20, no tell for 40. But the black hole for 70 and Ravage only a half, about a half minute off. So they are going to make the move here on the pilot. Die aggressive jump forward from your Slark. He's suddenly in an awkward position. Oh, Miracle going to get sound. So perfectly timed, guys. But the oh. relocate out. Grit with oh. a huge save. This is going to buy a lot of time. We have pops the BKB. He wants vengeance. He will take down Fly. And now the Thrax are exposed. Moon blinking forward. 16 seconds to go until the ultimate comes out. They've gotten the range X. Crit's going to return. Crit likely die back coming here. No, each other's out. One last auto attack finishes the job. And no tail likely be next. They've lost the Death Providence before the ultimates come back on like two seconds ago. Miracle, him against the world. Ravage is coming. One second. Let's it fly. Lands it on we How they're gonna be able to bring the OD down. Can they get more is the question. Puppy in danger. Miracle gonna turn this. Pies to drop as well. And no tilt right back into it. Puppy with the TP out. No. Yule's gonna stop it. They'll take down the Enigma as well. They have lost to Lana Brax, but Bottom Miracle lane, okay. is getting fat. Bottom, Bottom lane, lane the rat damage. amplifies, but they have not taken the melee. It's only a range. It feels like Miracle got just enough that maybe there's a chance yeah. for OG. I mean, if they're gonna get to a position where they have Ravage again without losing a lane of Rax, all, everything's pushed out for now, uh, but... They want to take a fight right now, they're not gonna waste any okay. time. No-Tail moving in, the smoke's gonna break, and they found the Enigma Puppy off the bat. He's got the Crypts to go, though, he's very tanky, Relay Kite coming through, and it's deep behind Secret Lines. Black already, he lets it go, but the instant interrupt there from Fly, and they're bringing down their own Enigma. Rehaw dropping low as well, No-Tail just destroying him, getting pummeled by Miracle on the back lines now. 28 as the chip charges, OG rampaging forward and Misery's BKB down, he's got a TP out, Yule's left available but he can't quite get in range, will manage to escape, OG all of a sudden hitting the gas and man this would be the perfect time for a Roche respawn but um, this game they're still Dainum, down a full lane of Rax and bottom lane exposed so. And they are against a Prophet and a Drow so Secret even if they get to a player where they can't take the fights they can always just threaten the split push, threaten the throne. But here comes the rotation. Misery being hunted. Miracle's gonna get eyes on him. He drops the sprout. The leaps off the mark. Moon looking forward. It's into BKB's. Puppy trying to counter initiate this one, but Moon is gonna be absolutely fine. He pops the Greaves, keeps alive for now. There's the relocate out. Crit to save him. And a lot of BKB's got committed for this one. Round two is gonna be tricky. Do they bring back the Tide Hunter? Fly Hi. sitting back. It looks like he wants to engage, but Pylai dies. Scouts him out, picks him off, and Crit will in the end be the sacrifice oh. here. So they lose. Both supports, but again, OG somehow keeping their cores alive and avoiding catastrophic damage. Unfortunately for them, gods, Roche is up, and Secret looks like they're going to grab it. They'll feel We're durable. at the point where Joe Ranger strats are falling. Like, this is... 30 minutes is normally, like, probably the, the time where you put on Joe Ranger strats in the current metagame. And once you get past that point, you're going to see a noticeable fall off. The hero doesn't scale well into the late game, despite being an agi carry, and... They're kind of known for being these more... Oh, they made a move on track. bottom. No-Tail getting caught out here. The Frost is working on him, but great defensive play by Fly, as well as Crypt to keep him alive. While well, that's happening, the mid lane, Miracle's going in. Pop the BKB nice and early. Puppy still in the black hole. Oh, that Miracle, no BKB for this fight. It looks like now he tries to run away. They gal grab him from distance. Fly, the blink over the top. They drop the hammer. Everything on the Miracle, and they will get the kill. Now a triple buyback coming up from OG. Even if they hold, this is a costly one. No-Tail charging into the midst of the fray. He doesn't have the Ghost Scepter ready, but the Yule Scepter is online. Miracle's got to get some heavy work done in this fight. He starts to go to work. A couple Andy's of auto attacks here and there, but they're cu they're cutting the waves and just kiting him beautifully. Ravage coming through. It connects in all three. This could be enough. Maybe, just maybe. Weeha trapped within. He is going to get the cheese off as you predicted. Eternal Envy gutting them down from the side. Miracle did. Moon did as well. It's a triple dieback and secret. And push through and clutch game number two. All five hit the deck.
No happy little trees for Moon this time around. Just a great job of splitting OG apart, keeping the pressure on all three lanes there at the end, and OG never really got an opportunity to use their... to initiate. Like, you, we got this Tide Ravage, this Death Prophet Exorcism we talked about, but they could never engage with the Ravage, followed up with the Exorcism. DP was forced to deal with the split push.